yet she doesn't have any formal training. And I know there's no accreditation. Um, I know. I know. So you know, we've... Well, well, <laughs> any new industry goes through these growing pains. And coaching has become ever so popular. It's become the in thing at the moment, you know. People like to boast about, oh, I'm sorry, I can't meet you for lunch. I have to see my coach, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and it's become the in thing and people boast about it. And, uh, and, and pe coaches can make an extremely attractive income. They can, they can make a huge income. Um, so it has attracted an awful lot of people who have decided to simply call themselves coaches and just bypass the whole training qualification thing. It is frustrating. They're not bad people. They just get, people get confused, you know? They're taking shortcuts. And I, all I say is to every client, What's that Latin phrase, buyer beware? Um, Carpe diem, seize, seize the day. Um, caveat emptor, caveat emptor, that's it. Um, buyer beware. So all I say is clients need to just ask a few simple questions of each man or woman they want to have their coach. You know, oh, I'd, I'd love to work with you. Will you give me a free session? I want to test. Good. Where did you train? Where did you get your qualification? How did you, how, how did you come to do the training? Just simple little questions, um, and you'll know. But you see, there are, there are some people, and I've met one or two, who have been therapists, who have been management consultants, not coaches, but they are gifted, just gifted. And they have made rather good coaches. And they haven't had an awful lot of full-on training, you know? So it's hard to put them down. So I, I, I don't like to put those people down. I just say they're a bit confused. Yeah. OK. Any other final questions? No. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.